I just don't see what else they could do unless they decided to do something different. If they did, like, an arena-style game where, <clears throat> you know, it played, like, Halo or, God forbid, Call of Duty, or but, you know, in the same genre. I mean, there's also the the option... I don't know what to say, or the possibility. Like, I mean, the thing with Battlefront is, and Star Wars in specifically, is you want to, outside of, like, maybe, like, Jedi Academy, you, you could have had more players in Jedi Academy. Especially because I think it was, like, the most you could have was, like, 6v6. And I think in Jedi Outcast, granted, you could, couldn't play online, but I think that was, that was a, had a bigger multiplayer pool as far as how many people could play. And Battlefront does the same thing. Like, you want... Star Wars, you want big battles on, you know, a large scale. But again, what else are you going to do outside of the established Battlefront formulas? There just isn't really another option. There's not really another... There's there's not another thing to go for. I don't I I don't know what else to say about it. Um, but I do wish that they would. I do wish that they would, you know, say something about it. Especially because when I first learned about it, I learned about it when I saw. Uh, I actually saw somebody on. Uh, it was in a, a discussion on Twitter, and their thing. Their, like, uh, Twitter bio said they were part of the multiplayer team for a new Star Wars FPS game. And I was like, well, that's kind of cool, but why are you putting that in your in your Twitter bio? Like, obviously it hasn't been, nothing's been said about it, so are you supposed to be sharing this info? Is it, I guess it's kind of like when, like, s someone's name or whatever is in the credits, uh, kind of like... Oh, I don't know, like, the, the voice actress for the AI for Prism that is in the Halo credits. It's on her, you know, her job, like, it, you know, all the shit she's done voices in. And we still have yet to even see that character. And Infinite's been out for a hot fucking minute. So, at some point, they have to, you know, say something about it, right? Because, like, Justin and I, I mean, we, we, we mostly spend our time playing Halo because, you know, that's, that's been our go-to for years. And Hey, 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 hey. Holy shit, they're like fucking cockroaches. Um, I mean, we'll, we'll play Battlefront every now and then because we do... We are both huge Star Wars fans. And so we, you know, we've got that Star Wars itch. But... At the same time, you know... There's only so much you can do with this game, especially since the bigger modes are pretty much dead. Like, you'll sit in a lobby waiting for Supremacy or Galactic Assault for just ridiculous amounts of time. But, I mean, I can find... I can find matches on here in, uh co-op in, you know, just a very short amount of time. So, which is odd, because, it, I mean, it basically means that the Battlefront game that isn't dead, and I mean, obviously the franchise isn't, 
if they, I think what they need to do is they need to go the kind of the remake route and do like, I mean, so you guys have seen, if you guys have seen me streaming, I've been streaming the hell out of the Resident Evil 4 remake because it is so damn good. And, I mean, you know, being a, a big Halo fan, it does pain me a little bit to say that I think it's even better than the Halo 2 anniversary. But, it's just because Halo 2's played, didn't play any differently. It was just so much prettier. And I think, I feel like that's what they need to do with the OG Battlefront series. Do the same thing. Give us, uh, give us basically just an updated version of the original Battlefront games with just current gen visuals and sounds and maybe even map design. I mean, I wouldn't say change map design too much because that that's kind of a big no-no just for games in general. This is kind of crazy. I don't know that we've ever I've ever had a a match on Endor end. We I don't think I've ever had a match on Endor where we've won and they've never taken a single command post. That's crazy. But I'm not I'm not sure cuz I mean, I know everybody loves the OG Battlefronts and I know the new ones a lot of people like them and there's also a lot of people that um don't so much. 